So guys, in this tutorial, we're gonna look at the final stage of a pick up, gather, crow hop, and this that final stage we're gonna look at here is the throw. Because we've done a lot on the overarm throw in terms of a, a stationary position, which you should know, but we'll go through now. Sideways on, my target's over there. Non-throwing arm, pointing at my target. Tennis ball, towards the back of my head. Sideways on, slight knee bend, because that's gonna give us that extra power, isn't it? When we push up, like a spring. And as I throw, I twist and bring that back foot forward. That gives me the extra power. Now, if you've just watched the crow hop video, you know that you can add a little run and a step, or two steps, to that throw. That will give you the extra power. The session I want you to do now, or the tutorial I want you to, I want to show you, or want you to try, is I want you to set up two targets. You're gonna throw the ball against your wall, or maybe your partner will roll it towards you, and then you're gonna go through the steps of pick up, crow hop, and I want your throw, fingers facing your target, and I want you to try and power it in at a good speed and try and hit your target over or hit your target and score some points. If we're thinking about um, T-ball, this might be throwing to a base, it might be throwing to, it could be thrown even to home to stop a, um, a home run, so it's a really important one. Might be thrown to a fielder. Accuracy of the throw is really important, guys. So, let me have a couple of practices and then we can break it down a bit further. I'm gonna be throwing against the wall, picking up, crow hop, and throwing at my targets. You'll know if I hit one, because there'll be a big noise. If I hit one, sideways. Oh, I can go again. There, I've got one. Oh, close that time. Oh. <laughs> okay, instead of editing that video, I think you might have guessed, I hit two targets and then one managed to hit the camera. So, how am I getting my accurate throw? Well, <coughs> as I'm picking up the ball, I'm starting to look at my target already. I gather that ball in to my chest and then I'm already looking, I'm already aiming at where I want to throw. Now in T-ball, this is a massive part of the game. Once you've fielded, it's the decision making. I want you to get out of the habit of collecting the ball, getting up, having a little think, oh, another think, which base, which base, ah, panic, throw. I want you to have thought about it before you gather that ball. I can see they're running to third. Gather ball, throwing ball at third. So, in this session, pick up the ball nice and quick. You've got two targets right or left. Make your mind up as you're picking the ball up. Watch the ball into your hands. The minute the ball is in the hands, I'm looking at my targets. This bit with my hand now, back behind my shoulder, I don't need to look anymore. Once the ball is in my hands, I'm already looking at my target, my arms are doing the rest, and I'm throwing. Let me have one more go at that, mainly because it was fun. I'll try not to break my camera this time. So, one target to the right, one target to the left. I'm using cones, but you could use anything for this, guys. Here we go. Gathering it in any way. When it throws off the wall, it's as if someone's hit it. You might get a low ball, you might get a high ball, who knows. I'll do a low one to start because I enjoy it. Maybe a long barrier. Oh yes, long barrier, throw it. Oh, so close. I'm gonna go across the camera. Yes! Oh, enjoyable drill that one, guys. And it brings together all that work we've done on catching and throwing and also some fielding as well. So enjoy that one. Let me know how you go.